Drop top, drop top Had a dream I was riding around the city in a drop top Wristwatch, wristwatch Had a dream I just got the new rollie on TikTok Pour it up, pour it up Don't hurry on Welcome to Italy We have been traveling It's five, it's currently five o'clock in Italy right now We are in Lake Como And we have been traveling since 7.45 last night in the United States I don't even know how long that is in time. It was an eight hour plane ride. And then we took a three and a half, four hour bus ride from Zurich, Switzerland to Lake Como. And then we took a little taxi to get to our Airbnb. So I'm gonna show you guys our Airbnb. I think we're going to relax for a little bit, try to make a plan for tonight, but welcome to the Italy vlog. Okay, this is the outside of the little apartment that we're staying at. And then this is the inside. So you walk in through this door we have already made ourselves slightly at home they even have some little umbrellas for us walk in here is a little sitting area living room tv they have a cute little stove and outside you can see like the streets i don't know how to open this or there we go look at this So cute like all of my Italy dreams come true and then there's a little dining room area over here it's very small but it's very quaint and then the kitchen is over here it's very cute a little coffee machine with coffee you guys I had my first coffee in weeks today probably like probably almost a month, but I had my first coffee in a month in Switzerland today and it was honestly really good. And then the bathroom is over here. Seth is in the bathroom. This is me. <laughs> this is the outfit I have literally been wearing since last night. I'm gonna shower after him, but I just wanted to film this clip first. And then this is the little bedroom and the closet. I think I'm gonna unpack my stuff. We're going to be in this Airbnb for three nights. And then I think after this, we go back up to Switzerland, I think, but I'm not sure. Seth has the itinerary. So I'm just gonna unpack some of my stuff. I literally brought all dresses, you guys. The weather is so perfect. It's absolutely beautiful outside. It is, what's a, I don't know what, what degrees it is. It's 70 degrees outside right now. Literally couldn't ask for a better weather. So I'm just gonna unpack some of my stuff, probably not all of it, and kind of make a little plan. I don't know if we want to like walk down to the lake. We're just a very short walk away and then probably go get some dinner, but I'm so excited to be here. Oops, that's calling me. Yeah? They give us three different size towels. One, I, I think that is a wash rag, hon. Um, the flight over last night was pretty good. It wasn't terrible, but it also wasn't the best. I did sleep. I think I slept for probably about six hours, but it was on and off. And we had the window seat. So it was like two, four, two. And Seth and I had one of the two. So I had the window seat and he had the aisle seat, which I thought was going to be perfect because I usually like having window seat. But there was like a, a gap in between the seat and the window. So you couldn't really like rest your head on the side. So it wasn't a very comfortable night of sleep, but you know, it was still fine. Okay, let's get ready. I will we'll keep you guys updated. I'm so happy you guys are here. Welcome back to the vlog. She's looking so chic. Out of the night. This says from Princess Polly. It's so cute. Look at the texture. I don't know if you can see. Shoes are from Marshalls, bags from Target, sunglasses are from Amazon. You ready? Let's go. Oh, I was gonna put a water bottle in my purse. Get a 
out the big cup. Yeah. Roll it up, roll it up. Oh, yeah. Pass it all around cause it's all love. Just ate dinner. Seth, give us an overview on dinner. How was dinner? It was amazing. What'd you get? It was like 36 bucks. <laughs> That's the best part about it. We got, pesto, got nice pesto. And I got a mushroom pasta. A mushroom pasta with some bread. It was very good. Now we're just watching Lake Como. I think we're gonna get some gelato later. Mmm. We had to pass on the terra miso. Yeah, and they had a pistachio cheesecake as well. Honestly, that one did sound really good to me. Too full. Did you know that 911 here is 211? I think it changes in all countries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you're eating a nut. Mm-hmm. It's really creamy too. Bonjour, Anna. What? <laughs> you said I what? Oh. No. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning. We spent all day yesterday in Lake Como, and um, then towards the evening, we took a we we're supposed to take the ferry. The ferry was supposed to come at 5.10. And it just like never came. And they were like, oh, it's running behind, it's running behind. And so we're like, by the time it comes, we're not gonna have any time over there. So we ended up taking a bus over to Bellagio from Como. It was kind of a disaster just because the bus takes an hour and 10 minutes and the ferry that we we're gonna take, um, we we're going to take a fast ferry that also took an hour, but the bus was through like a bunch of windy roads because obviously the lake is around a mountain and stuff was like about to throw up the entire time. For some reason I was okay and then on the way back I was like, oh great, I'm going to throw up. But neither one of us did, so <laughs> that's good. Um, but yeah, we just walked around most of the day. We went to some cool like architectural places. And then we went to a villa to kind of just like relax by the water. We got some chairs, we got um, some sparkling water, uh, paninis, fries, and just like hung out there. It was super nice and relaxing. And then went to Bellagio. We had dinner in Bellagio, walked around, and then had some gelato. And then we came back. My time of the month is upon me currently, and it's like, not good timing, <laughs> obviously, but it's day one, so I'm pretty crampy right now. I'm traveling to by we're traveling by train to go to Milan today to spend the day in Milan, and then we're going to a cooking class in Milan this evening, which is gonna be super fun. Um, but we didn't wake up until 10:30. Neither one of us set alarms, which was kind of stupid. But anyway, Seth is out exchanging some money. And this is my outfit of the day. It's a little fancy, I guess some could say, but I don't know where else to wear this dress except for Milan. So I'm wearing this dress from Dish. Oh, I need to take off this necklace. I was only gonna wear my one little necklace. Seth got me this necklace a while ago. Hold on one second. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> um, so I just have my hair back in a ponytail. I have this cute little accessory on and then this dress from dish and my shoes from modern girl that i got from marshall's and i think this is like the perfect milan look i think it's super cute currently at a castle in milan I just got here by train it's very pretty <laughs> sitting at the Arco. Do you think it's Della or Della? Della Pace. American rock and roll in the back. Yeah. Um, which is called the, it's Ar the Ark of Peace. Apparently it was created like in the early 1800s. And then it was taken over by Austria. And then Milan got it back. So it's very pretty. The Ark also symbolizes a way to Paris. So if you go that way, it'll take you to Paris. I've never been to France, but I do feel like the street looks very Parisian.
I don't want no problems. I got dreams I ain't far from. But I got some real hitters with me here, and they might shoot, might shoot. Don't move, boss things, boss things. Young man out here doing boss things. Yeah. Big dreams, big dreams. Mama said, son, you gon' do big things. You just gotta, you just gotta go get it. <laughs> You guys can hear me it has been the wildest 24 hours yesterday when we were in milan we were racing from train station to train station because they were canceling our trains because there is a um, strike going on in italy right now it started at 9 p.m yesterday to 9 p.m today and so they kept canceling our trains from milan back to como so we had to go to all the train centers around milan so in order to get there we were taking bikes and i was wearing a big dress um, if you guys saw my Instagram, it's like that big black dress that I was wearing and it was flying up because these are electric bikes. We were literally going like 25, 30 miles an hour on these stinking bikes. And I was like fixing my dress while holding the bike with one hand. And I guess my, um, I was also like in the streets here. There's, um, divots where like the trains will go through, like the car street trains, kind of like in San Francisco type thing. And my um wheel like divoted into there and i literally fell off the bike and i fell onto my right arm and i don't know why i just showed you guys from that weird angle but anyway at the time i was like okay that hurt but it was more embarrassing than anything else thank god there wasn't that many people around i scraped up like my leg but i was like come on like let's get back on the bike so we gotta go well as i was like driving the bikes i had both of my hands out on the bike i was noticing that my like my arm was really bothering me and every time we would go over cobblestone streets because we're literally on cobblestone sorry cobblestone streets here it would hurt it would like not feel good and so i got back home and i was like i don't know at first i was like there's no way i broke my arm like i would be in way much more pain than what i'm in right now and so i was like you know what like maybe i just sprained something whatever let's just give it 24 hours while well, i woke up this morning and it was really bad, so I splinted it all day. Um, I've been popping ibuprofen, and it definitely has helped. I'll show you guys, like I have. Let me see if I can put you here. Like I do have range of motion. It's not displaced because it's not like instable, unstable, and you can tell like my elbow is normal. Are you guys, I don't have my contacts in. I can't tell if you guys are focused, but. I can't fully extend my arm like I can't so I I can um, flex it but I can't flex it all the way because it hurts and then I can't fully extend it so part of me is thinking like maybe I fractured not a complete fracture by any means but like a small fracture of either like my radius or my ulna but then today as I've been going about it has been getting better I still have like some pain definitely my forearm too but pain is not that bad and i'm like if and there was no immediate bruising or swellings so i'm like oh, i don't think that i broke anything but i don't know what could be causing me to have this much pain ortho is not my strong suit um so anyway i have it splinted today we talked about maybe like going to the hospital but it's just not an emergency like i'm doing fine they don't really have urgent cares here i just need to get an x-ray and know if splinting it is the right thing to do or if it's just a sprain if i can just like let it be also, there's fireworks outside. If you guys think that I'm being shot at, they're fireworks. They've been going on for like the last 20 minutes. They're beautiful, but they just keep going. So anyway, that happened last night. And then today has been treacherous. We have made the trip from Como to Genoa. Um, I think it's technically spelled Genova, but I don't think they pronounce the V in the Italian culture. So it's called Genoa. It's on like a little northern seaside town. It's very beautiful but it took forever to get here we because of the train strike so we were sitting in the milan um bus station for literally five hours today we got here at like 8 30 our airbnb host let us in and then it was like time to try to find food but when you're navigating europe each time you go to a new city you're also navigating new transportation methods besides obviously you always have the the train like the euro rail which we do take but honestly it's been super unreliable 
and it, like we don't we're staying a little bit outside of the city so we don't want to go just like directly into the city on that if that makes sense so we were just learning the bus the bus system and honestly Seth and I were getting frustrated at each other because I was like just pick a place to eat I really don't care what it is at this point in time um so we got food got back I just showered it is it's almost midnight it's almost midnight on a Sunday night and they're like setting off fireworks um it's just like different you know than the U.S. but like the there was the town was so lively tonight when we were there it was like it is literally like 11 o'clock at night on a sunday night like i would be in home sleep but i'm i love that for um this but anyway it is 11 37 i really just want to watch youtube videos honestly right now i'm just like i need relaxation but i take some ibuprofen before i go to bed i've been sleeping with my arm just kind of across me like this and we're just hoping for the best with it honestly like if it gets too bad i will definitely go somewhere but it's not getting worse it's definitely getting better so i'm hoping for good things but sorry the vlog has been kind of off it's just been the craziest 24 hours everything's just a mess so i'm hoping things just kind of like chill out from here on out I wanted to show you my outfit for today and then I'll do a little overview of the place that we're staying at. It has a really nice view. This is my sling. <laughs> it's a scarf that we just picked up from the train station. This dress is from Zara. Shoes are from Modern Girl. And Seth braided my hair, which is very cute. So this is the outfit today. But I got some real hitters with me here and they might shoot, my shoot. Some real hitters with me, and they might 